modern ceiling lights. We all want them, right? Hi there, I'm Jeff with Home Repair Tutor, and in this video, I'm going to share with you how to install a modern ceiling light and replace the ugly light fixtures that you have above. So let's get to it. I've got a lot of awesome tips for you, and before you know it, you're going to have a new and modern look. So let's get started. Always start every single electrical project by turning the power off at the circuit breaker or your fuse box. Double check that the power is off by flipping the switch on and checking that the light doesn't turn on. Carefully remove the old shade. So in this case, the shade is just attached to the fixture with these tabs on it. So I'm just gonna remove this glass shade and ugh, there's some uh, nasty bugs inside there. One little step that I like to take is twofold. Take the light bulbs out because they're made out of glass and they will shatter <laughs> if you break them. Yes, I found this out the hard way. The other extra tip is to use blue tape to hold the old fixture to the ceiling while you lower it down. I like there to be slack in the tape so that I can lower the lampshade down about four to six inches. The fixture is held to the junction box with two screws. And in this case, these screws actually have nuts on them. So all you have to do is loosen the nuts or the screws, whichever one you have, to lower the fixture down from the junction box. With the two nuts removed, I can now lower the light fixture from the junction box carefully. All right, as you can see, the, two, the three pieces of blue tape are holding the weight of the light fixture for me. So now I can just fish out the wiring from the junction box. Now you can fish out the old wiring. So I've got neutral wires here. All the white wires are pigtailed together. So in this case, all the hot wires are wired together too. This light is on a three-way switch. So I just wanted to let you know about that in case you're wondering about this red wire here. There were also black wires that were shoved up into the junction box, and then you finally you have your ground wires that are all pigtailed together. And I highly recommend taking a picture of the wiring so that you know how to wire the new light together. With all the wires exposed, now you can undo the pigtails and remove the light fixture from the junction box. I personally like to unwire the hot wires first, so black, all the black wires go first. Then I like to unwire the neutrals next. And then finally, unwire the ground wires last. Now I can take the fixture off the ceiling and remove all the blue tape. Oops, almost. There's, a ground, there's one ground wire connecting the, the lamp to the bracket here. So I just need to take that off or cut it off, whichever. Remove the old mounting bracket using a flathead screwdriver or Phillips head screwdriver, whichever you have or whatever screw you have that's holding this bracket to the junction box. Hey, you know what? One extra step that I forgot to tell you about, when you lower the light down, you can actually stick a voltage detector in between the light and touch the, the wires and see if they're live. So this is just one extra precautionary step to ensure that you don't get electrocuted. So sure enough, you know I've been handling these wires for a few minutes, they're not live, but I wanted to tell you about using a voltage detector. Now it's time to take the mounting bracket for the new light. Have the green ground screw facing you and take the longer mounting screws and place them into the inside holes. So this hole here and this hole here, because you're gonna use these mounting screws to mount the light to the bracket. So turn them maybe like three or four revolutions. So put them in, turn them clockwise three or four times. There you go, now you have your mounting bracket ready to go and be mounted onto the junction box. Now you can add the mounting bracket to the junction box using the shorter screws. And just slide the screw through the slot and get it started in the junction box. Then you can use your screwdriver to tighten the screws that mount the mounting bracket to the junction box. Here's the top of the ceiling fixture. So you have a ground wire, so one bare copper ground wire. 
And then each light socket has a hot wire and a white neutral wire. So there's one light socket there. And then here's the other light socket. So it, again, it has a black hot wire and a neutral white wire. So the first thing we're gonna do is wrap the ground wire, the bare copper ground wire around this green screw. So I'm gonna wrap it around this green screw and then tie it into the ground wires that are coming from the junction box. So again, we're just going to wrap this green ground wire around the ground screw right here. And we're going to tighten that down. And then we're going to pigtail the ground wire that we just wrapped around the green ground screw with the ground wires that are coming from the junction box, just like I said. So when you're done with the ground wires, you can push them up into the junction box. The next step is to wire the neutrals together. So what I like to do is twist the wires coming from the light. So I'm gonna twist the white wires from the light together. And then I'm going to join them to the neutral wires coming out of the junction box. I'm gonna put a wire nut over all these wires. Okay, so there are all the neutral wires. They're wired together. The next step is to wire all the hot wires together. So in this case, I'm gonna wire the black wires from the light together. And the hot wire that we're gonna be using is the red hot wire. So I'm going to be just wiring the red hot wire with the black wires from the light because that's what fits the configuration of my setup. Yours could be different, so make sure you follow the directions that come with your light. Try to wrap the wires from the light to the wires in the junction box by about one to two revolutions, and then twist on the wire nut again. And then finally, we don't use the black wires that are up in the junction box. They're pigtailed together to make the electrical connection, but they don't really, they don't touch the wires that are coming from the light fixture. So again, we've got all the ground wires wired together, all the hot wires from the light wired to the red wire coming from the junction box, and then all the white wires from the light connected to the white wires in the junction box and all the black wires in the junction box just pigtailed together. Push all the wires up into the junction box. Now it's time to mount the fixture, the new modern fixture, onto the mounting screws here. Push the fixture up such that the mounting screws come through and then you can turn the fixture so that the screws are in the smaller portion of the keyhole. Now you can use your screwdriver to tighten the modern light fixture up to the junction box. Now you take the threaded nipple and screw it into the light fixture. There's a locking nut on this nipple and what you need to do is screw that up to the top like so, so that the nipple doesn't come loose. Now you take your light bulbs and screw them into the fixture, like so. Just make sure that they're appropriately rated for the new light. So in this case, I'm using 60 watt light bulbs. All right. Carefully take your shade, slide it up over the nipple. Put the, usually these lights come with a decorative piece like this one and then you just screw on the end piece here, like so. Not too tight, because you could break the glass lampshade. All right, and there you go. Now you can turn the power back on at the circuit breaker. Well, there you have it. That's how you install modern ceiling lights. Not too bad, right? Tons of different tips that I want you to follow, like you know, taping the old light fixture to the ceiling and checking the voltage with a voltage detector to make sure you don't get electrocuted. And as always, turn off 
the circuit breaker, or take the fuse out when you're working with electricity. So I hope you liked this video. Please let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are and if you have any tips of your own because I don't have all the answers. I'm sure you've got a lot of wonderful ideas that you'd like to add. Remember, if you haven't already done so, you can click the subscribe button. I can never get that out. You can always click the subscribe button over at YouTube, and that way, every single Friday, you'll get my new video. And you can also go to homerepairtutor.com and sign up for the email newsletter because the newsletter comes out on Fridays as well. That way, you'll never miss any of my tips and tricks. So, until the next video, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.